Hi everyone, welcome to the Nicholas Workshop. Um, today we're going to look at how to dis disassemble a um, three jaw chuck for the uh, Unimat SL lathe. Now, um, the only reason uh, I'm making this video was I needed to do this and I wasn't sure how to do it and so I had a look on YouTube and I couldn't find couldn't find one so um, so I had to work it out myself and I took a little bit a little while so I thought I'd just make a video uh, to show you so uh, things you'll need uh, circlet pliers a screwdriver your Tommy bars um, and I'll show you these things the older uh, the multi-tool if you know that video um, a few uh, three um, M4 uh, cap head screws and a um, Allen key to match and I'll show, I'll show you that in a minute okay so um, the first thing really to do is um, it's a scroll chuck so you can take the um, take the jaws out so just on, on a unimat on the on the bottom ring there's just one hole so you put your Tommy bar in there and then uh, on the top one I normally go the wrong way uh, but wait, let's have a look see if I no yeah I'm going the wrong way so all we're doing is just uh, twisting it round And as you can see, the, the jaws are starting to come out. Now what you'll find is uh, it's marked on, on, your, um, on your chuck 1, uh, 2 and 3. Which are, uh, and you'll get the corresponding marks on the... I uh, don't know whether you ever see that. It's a bit... It's a bit uh, it needs, needs work, this chuck. So you get the two there, so they uh, um, go back in the same same slots. Um, I can't remember which way I was going. No, wrong way. Okay. So when you get to the end, they they come out, and so that's part part one. So you've got. Uh, one, one, two, and three. Okay, so we don't need Tommy bars anymore. I don't think so anyway. So now we get screw. Um, now actually what we'll do is we'll take the uh, pair of circlip pliers. And we've got a circlip here. Um, Okay, so that comes off. Again, not uh, too challenging that one. And then, now I've taken this apart, so it's obviously coming apart now for you guys very easily. But uh, I can assure you it didn't because it was in, uh, um, yeah, it obviously hadn't been disassembled for a long time. So you've got a, I don't know what they call it, like a spring washer, a tapered one there. Um, so you've got one of those. If you do know what that's technically called, Put it in the comments because uh, I want to look to try and purchase some of those. So now, um, what you should be able to do is you just pull that part out. So there's the scroll, and that's where our um, uh, jaws go in. And as you can see, they're all. Let's move that up there. You should be able to see they don't all start in the same place, and so that's why it's important to put them in. Uh, the right slots the back the one two and three so they match when you put it back together okay so that's fine so we've got that bit apart so the next thing is this is effectively this is the back plate here now if you if all you're doing is just doing some maintenance on the on it on the uh, the chuck if it's not running full of swarf or or something then that's probably as far as you need to go and you can clean all the all the surfaces up um, and make sure 
everything when you put it back together runs. I mean, then to put it back together, it's just in the reverse order. But what is, um, now, what I wanted to make the video for you guys on um, using the screw cutting um, attachment for, uh, for the Unima SL. But it actually, that requires you to remove the back plate off this smallest back plate in the world. So now what you probably will find is these uh, these screws are incredibly uh, seized into uh, the chuck. So it takes a little, little bit of um, patience, uh, cleaning, WD, ultrasonic, cleaner whatever you got to do to get it undone now let's take that off that's the third one so now this this pulls off and so there you've got your back plate um, now uh, what I would suggest and what I haven't I didn't do here is it would actually I, I may have done oh no I have done it here yeah so you're not going to be able to see, but what I had done previously was I'd put a centre pop there on that one and one there. So I knew I could put these all back in the same position just to try and get it to ensure that it was... Um, uh, when, I, when I put it back together, it, it runs the same as, um, as it did, you know, just in case there are any irregularities and, and I, it causes a run out. Not that I've tried it, tested whether this is accurate. Okay, so that comes off, and then that's basically it in, in pieces. Looks incredibly easy because, as I say, I've already done it. It does. Uh, these, these screws here are the biggest challenge getting those out. But as I say, if you don't want to take the back plate off, I wouldn't, you know, I, there's no value in this. You need to take that off. I need to for the uh, screw cutting. Um, attachment but not not for anything else now where the way I did take this off um, I just loosened the screws and so they were just slightly protrude so I just had a very small uh, amount of movement and then just gave them a tap um, round and it, it just broke the broke the seal on the on this and then once uh, once I got a little bit of a gap, I then use the um, the M4 uh, cap heads, and I just screwed them in. So we had a little, a small piece of a uh, a gap there. I then put that in in between it, so it actually blocked blocked the hole, so it wouldn't go through and then just tighten them down and then just slowly worked around with each one of them, tightening them down and then that just lifted that off. So you don't have to hit it with anything or go crazy. You know, these are small, I'm not sure whether you would call them precision, but you know, they don't, you can normally do it without too much violence and um, then you, generally then you don't end up having to do Lots of repair work where you've beat it to death with a hammer. So anyway, that's how you uh, take take apart a um, a Unima SL three jaw chuck. So now I can do. Now I've done this. Um, it will allow me to make the video on the um, the thread cutting. Um, attachment so that would be the next thing I do so as I say this was just purely because I couldn't find anywhere that actually told me how to do it so hopefully if someone's in the same uh, situation th this might be of use okay well thanks for watching and um, as always stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one cheerio